Today we're taking a little vacation over to Europe for Beyond Drew TV's European Mini Zoo. Don't get fooled by the word mini, this is actually a huge zoo and it is drop dead gorgeous with detail around every single corner. Beyond Drew TV is probably one of the best builders in the community, so I'm so excited to show off what his latest creation is, especially for a Planet Zoo creator finally finishing a zoo, I'm pretty sure that's unheard of. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. I mean, like, already, look at this stuff. It, it feels like I'm in Europe. Like, this little plaza area is so gorgeous, and it reminds me of, like, so many cute little European towns with all this color and all this detail on, like, the windows, on all the facades. This is... It feels so organic, too. I mean, just looking at this little split right here, even seeing these staircases right down here, it feels so realistic. And that's another thing too, you don't need to make your zoo functional for the most part. If you want some cool detail, try thinking about what real people would do, not these like claymation disasters. Alright, I literally don't know what what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going, which kind of makes it fitting for a European city. But it looks like everyone's kind of continuing down this way, so let's, cuff, let's, let's follow them. Oh, I love these fences, that like slight green on there looks so good. So I believe, if my assumptions are correct, this should be the Ibex habitat. Which, again, this is like part of that Drew genius that we're seeing right over here. This little use of the kind of like ship pieces from the Arctic pack looks so cool. I'm pretty sure that Ibexes don't growl, but okay. What a gorgeous habitat though, and you can see that they also have those climbing rocks right there. Is he gonna use it? Uh, well, he's using it, it's just a matter of if he can fly on it, that's, uh, that's something you can do. This is so beautiful, though. I don't know. Like, I don't know what culture Drew's going for over here, but it's one that I enjoy. What a gorgeous hat. Like, the use of the flowers in here just really helps us stand out. Let's continue down this way, and it looks like we have a bridge. Yes! I don't know if you guys are as big a fans of bridges as I am, but, like, I don't know, the fact that you could walk over water, it does something to you. Looks like we have a lovely little habitat for the swans as well, the beautiful mute swans. It's actually so funny, I remember when Drew started the zoo, it came out when the Europe pack came out, and now that we have the Eurasian pack, it was kind of like a little kick in the ass for Drew to like get his stuff kind of together. I don't know, I think that's funny, I'm following the staff member, I shouldn't be doing that. I don't want to be put on another list. It's so simple, but these uses of, like, the little logs down here in order to make, like, kind of dilapidated pathway, that is so good right there. This has always been one of my favorite habitats that Drew has ever done because look at this. This looks gorgeous. Like, I don't even know what animals back here, but I know it's pretty damn cool because they have, like, this ruined tower in the back. Alright, let's fly over and see if we can spot it. Ah, uh, yes, the pinata pronghorn in its natural habitat unaware to the predators that might be lying in the in the castle i don't know all right looks like they're kind of hiding in here what are you oh it's a little wolfy boy so cute inside me there's two wolves and they're both yeah, that is so cool and he, he, like this is a little trick that like takes a zoo up even more is that you guys can flexi color these fences like i just want you guys to know that like please add that little detail to your zoo because it really does help really flesh it out a lot more lovely use of like all these leaves down here too super awesome it really does help the zoo feel so natural looking down in here i wonder what's in here i don't know maybe this could tell me ah yes i really do love brown circle habitat i i love learning straight line about brown circle habitat all right it looks like it's for deer so that's at least kind of cool all right is there anything in here there's food all right, I think I kind of walked ourselves into a dead end, so that is not good. This is why you should not trust me as a tour guide, because I have no idea where I'm going. So I think if we actually go up here, we should be good? Yeah, yeah, this looks right. Aw, oh, Drew, I love those little crates. That looks awesome. And, like, this rock work is so gorgeous, too. I don't know, it just feels awesome. It feels like it has a certain flow to it, you know what I mean? Look at that. Just look at that, what a view. So while I do love bridges, I am absolutely terrified of bridges over like tall things. So if this were real, I would be freaking out. And yet we have a daredevil right over there, just walking, walking right on the edge, good for them. But look at that, that is drop dead gorgeous right there. Who do we have swimming? 
Oh, we got some beaver swimming. That's awesome. Yeah, I know they're North American beavers, but Europe does have their own subspecies or species of beaver. I'm not really sure. But that is pretty... All right. It looks like there's more stuff down there, but that's kind of where we started. So I'm going to take a look at that. Look at that beautiful red deer habitat. That is awesome. Is it red deer? No, it's fallow deer. I'm an idiot. Don't trust me. Do not trust me for any animal facts. It's not like I go to the zoo every day or something. All right. It looks like down there is staff area. So let's make our way under this rock arch. Oh my God. That's awesome. It seems like we have some aviaries as well. Who do we have in here? It seems like I am the fool. I am the exhibit now. We have another one right over here for the Wolverine. Hell yeah. That is so cool. Oh, but this is starting to really shape up over here. Like, I think after Drew took his little hiatus, he came back with, like, a bug in him. And this little, like, habitat right here just shows it. But look at that beauty. And, like, the water continues right over this bridge, too. Again, again with the bridges. I love my bridges. That's such a good climbing frame for the Wolverine, too. And, oh, oh, he's doing something. Oh, he did something. That's so cool. But look at that beauty right over here. Again, the rock work is just so awesome. And you get this view into the Wolverine habitat, too. That is so cool. And you get to eat right next to the Wolverines. Awesome. Which is kind of funny because their Latin name means, like, gluttonous. It's Gulo Gulo, which is, like, glutton glutton. Uh, so I think it's kind of funny and very fitting that you put them next to a restaurant, Drew. Also, can we talk about that foliage work up there? That is gorgeous. Can you eat upstairs? Oh, I, I think you might be able to. That's cool. I love this little pollinator garden, too. Just, like, the use of the plants in here. Like, especially when you're working with the gravel path. In order to make it look really good, just overlap some, like, flowers and plants on top of it, and then it looks so natural. It looks so good. Alright, so I think we can kind of continue right down over here and check out the rest of the seal habitat. Of course, we're looking at the gray seal over here. Kind of ugly looking guys, but I still love them. They remind me of myself. But what a hell of a habitat, and I think it's even connected to that water source back there. Are they able to access that? Nah, they're not still like i think that's even better just having a nice big water source where no other like zoo animals can access it because it really does help it feel so natural in the end drew i hope while you're watching this you understand that i didn't really watch your series because like at some point i was like man i want to be wowed by the time that i enter into this park and damn it i am it looks like you even have some of the butterflies in here too nice nice Let's check out this little piece. Like, I don't know, there's just something so cool about these rock archways, Drew, that you are absolutely the master of. Look at that. And such a good use of height, too. Like, I don't know, it just feels like these mountains. Like, the zoo was made around this beautiful, beautiful valley. And it just really does go to show beautiful craftsmen of nature you are, sir. So I think if we do continue back up this little gravel path, and if I do speed us up a little bit, we do enter into the little butterfly garden. Let's go. They go a little bit too fast, but I believe we do have the tiger butterflies, I think. I don't know. European peacock, monarch, sure. We have butterflies and the beautiful. Nice work. Oh, that's, it's just so cool watching like the zookeepers actually interact with the zoo. I know that's their entire job, but sometimes it feels like they don't do it. I feel like I'm not giving enough credit to Drew for his beautiful building style, too, because look at this house. This is just a piece of architecture right here that is drop-dead gorgeous. And I think it really does speak to it that I haven't mentioned the architecture just yet, because it, like, it really does sink in just how grounded this zoo is in the natural environment. So, like, if you see something that, like, works really well then you're not really gonna notice it it just simply is like these freaking goats climbing up here hello who let you guys up there i don't know if you guys can hear it but this is again like one of my favorite things about planet zoo listen to the little clops of the hooves on like this rocks and stuff like it's it's just perfect i love it but yeah these guys can pass over this little walkway right there that's really freaking cool what an impractical hat. What purpose does that serve, sir? And here's that bottom side of the doll sheep habitat as well. Doll sheep really aren't found in Europe, but you know what? I'll pretend that they're mouflon for today. 
Look how happy he is. That's so cool. Oh my god, they can use that enrichment now? Why did I forget about that? That's so cool. Alright, where do I go? Do I go down here? I don't know. I'm lost again. At least we have this huge habitat. What is in here, my friend? I think it's a fox. It has to be a fox. I heard a fox. Oh no, it's it's a bird. It's birds. Hello. Cool birds, Drew. Very nice. Alright, I literally just did hear a fox, so I don't know where they are. Where where am I? Drew, you need a map. You need a map. Well, at least we have the snowy owl down there. That's kind of cool. But, like, where am I? Like, this is cra- This is crazy how, like- I don't know. It's awesome that I'm getting lost in here. But also, I'm getting lost in here, guys. Like, I, I don't remember seeing this. I don't remember seeing this at all. What is even in here? Oh, it looks like we have some rabbits in here. That's kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, this is beautiful, Drew. Oh my gosh. No, I need this blueprint. I need to save this blueprint because that is- it's like a little garden garden greenhouse kind of thing that's so cool and it looks like we have a red fox habitat right over here as well and they have like this little running stream in there that's so cute and we have the arctic foxes as well you can't have one without the other look at these little guys all right we can follow our way up here and it looks like we have the gorgeous wysant habitat look at these boys now i know not too many people were happy about the wysant being like the poster child for the eurasia pack but i'm so freaking excited that we did get them because i get to see them later this year oh my gosh i'm so excited to see them in person wysant really aren't found in north america or at least North American zoos. I believe there's like one place in like Indiana or like Missouri that claims to have them, but I'm not really too sure on that. Regardless, I get to see them in Portugal. So that's going to be so cool. It looks like we have a lynx habitat as well. Look at that. I don't, Drew, you're squeezing so many animals in here. It's awesome. But like, this is what I'm talking about. Look how gorgeous this hillside is because of the use of all these small grasses this is something that will take your zoo from like a five to a ten just because of all that detail in there all right continuing back over here we got some like water stands that's cool and we get another look at the lynx habitat and again i love seeing this blueprint all over the place it's been a thing since the arctic pack but it looks so good it's just like one of those rubber hose uh kind of like nests that animals can stay in i don't know i love it the lynx is so beautiful look at that model such a looker again it feels like this zoo never ends i have no idea okay we're at the other side of the fox exhibit look at that look at that little mini village back there it looks so cozy some little birdies tweet tweet all right and i think back here we should be towards uh, why i don't remember seeing this at all like, what's going on back here? This is, like, a killer playground, by the way. It looks so cool, Drew. So it seems like we have some red deer and, and, and the ropes course. Drew, like, this is incredible. You're calling this a mini zoo? You're, you're really gonna call this a mini zoo? Look at this level of detail. That's incredible. And look at this little village area. Oh my gosh, just the use of, like, lighting in here, too. Especially with this eucalyptus tree, which, by the way use trees in ways that you typically don't because it really does pay off because you guys didn't even hear me say that's a eucalyptus tree you would not have noticed but like look at this little stand right here it's so adorable drew this this zoo is just fantastic a, a rock climbing wall like look at that so many things to do here oh my god i didn't even notice that like again that's part of the like, beauty of what Drew just does back here. He has this entire mountain facade back there to serve as a weenie. That's a theme park term. As a way to like, you know, make it feel like you're in the mountains back here. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Again, I don't notice these things because they're done so extremely well. Like, look at this little section back here with like these beautiful Tudor houses. So awesome. And then you can look down in here. I think these are for skunks. Hell yeah, they're for skunk. But like Drew, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. It makes me so happy that you came back to the zoo because you did this incredibly beautiful job at taking something that was already like gorgeous. Like I remember you had this to start off with and then you made this entire thing. You made this entire thing. You made this entire thing. It just turned out perfect. Wow. What a hell of a zoo. I hope you guys are leaving as inspired as I am. 
because this was an incredible, incredible park. Look at that. Well, my friends, that is it for today. Please go check out Beyond Drew TV's channel because he has been my top inspiration for Planet Zoo for ever since I started off. And I really think that he deserves 10 times the recognition that he gets because he does this incredible job at zoo building and at city building and pretty much anything else that he does. Have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Huge shout out again to Drew for letting me tour this map. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye.